to be honest, you would be like, la la la. <laughs> I wouldn't do it better, I would just practically say the A's. <laughs> yeah, you would be like, la a a a a a a Yes, that, that would be it, yeah. <laughs> there are 13 A's. There are 13 A's. L A A A A A A. <laughs> Seriously, have a great party. Pa party. I, I don't I, I don't know it ruining my fun, but somehow ruined her. Uh, ruined her, ruining her, ruining my fun. <laughs> ruining my fun. <laughs> Incredible. It's a horrible party. By the time the bard has finished with his third encore of Ocean Avenue, he drains you of oh. a full three fun. I'm so oh. sorry, Frey. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. What? No. It's, that day in Monster right Scouts, you make <laughs> what are each these other pictures? friendship like bracelets. Some art. Uh, some art piece. Except for Monster Scout leader pairs you randomly with your friendship bracelet recipients. Oh, it's Larry. I guess so. Larry the Leash doesn't Leech. feel left out for having no friends. Okay, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, good. Shut up. That RTC is still connecting. RTC is still connecting. RTC. Voice command. Come on. Connecting. 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 He only needs to feed on souls Come to on. survive. Chido. Chido. Hi. Chido. Yeah, I'm back. The noise you came know, back. Links are, uh, are immortal. They are most depicted as skeletons. You get paired with Larry, surprisingly. Souls. Though he's a great conversationalist and he makes you... A super heartfelt bracelet that imbues you with plus two creativity when you wear it. Yay. Oh, <laughs> it was more. Larry sure is nice. Maybe there will come a day when he's cool enough to be your friend. Or at least a romanceable summer fling option. But today is not that day. I want to. I want a bracelet. <laughs> You're recovering from that interaction when Dahlia almost tramples you with her rock hard calves. <laughs> oh, sh for sure. Yes. Jesus Christ, okay. Anon. Oh, hey, Anon. I didn't see you beyond the majestic silhouette of my own flexing muscles. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, g I got to say. In my top physical condition, <clears throat> I'm never going to earn my FBI engine badge before the end of summer. You're about to explain to Dahlia how that's a different kind of badge than she's uh, probably than she probably thinks it is. When you notice another Dahlia in the vicinity, oh my God! Oh. What <laughs> the? F Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are you looking at, Non? I'm flexing my quads right now. You should be looking at me. Who are you, stranger? Who looks almost <laughs> exactly like me? Explain yourself at once. <laughs> and now? <laughs> no. Okay, so, uh, should I? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You go, but, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. How do, do I do this? Do, do, I, do I rush you, boys? <laughs> I, I need to... <laughs> I want to intimidate your voice. Yeah, <laughs> Imitate <gotta> your voice. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like... I don't look like you. You look like me, because I'm Dahlia. Ra ra ra. <laughs> You are not me. I am. You lack the ne necessary muscles. On the contrary. Since I'm the real Dahlia, the real Dahlia looks like this. And since you don't look like this... <laughs> <gasps> I'm, 
I'm the imposter. Motor out! <laughs> Confession. But, but how could I be? I'm such a master of disguise that I have fooled even myself. No, you're not a master of disguise. But I am! Counselor Fludge. That's right, Dahlia. It was me all along. You couldn't tell because I was wearing a mask. Your engin engineering truly was no ingenuity. No, <laughs> in ingenuity. <laughs> no but counselor, C counselor. If, if only I had your had your mastery of art of infiltration, I might make a better candidate for the FBI. Alas, my flawless blue skin and extreme handsomeness render me totally unfit for the undercover. For a, Why? Undercover, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said you can use handsome on girls. Unfit for un undercover work. I wouldn't necessarily call her a girl. She's the manliest one here. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why even if? If I post a contestant in beauty pageant in order to stop a domestic terrible thing fun field from starting Sandra Bullock, I'd like to render myself too conspicuous due to being so hot. Please, counter of Lord, teach me your ways. I am willing to no. devote all, all my time to screwing all romantic relationships. In the meantime. What? No, fuck that. Show Dahlia that you're the better camouflage tutor by suggesting some place where her natural assets would be... Would really help her blend in. A utopian society of buff smurfs. <laughs> a Dahlia cosplay contest. I feel like even <laughs> in a Dahlia cosplay contest, she yeah. would still lose. That's fantastic idea, Nan. A Bust true master marriage. of disguise. Always change their surroundings to match their appearance. That's why I carry around at least three life-size statues of myself at all times. You'd make a great disguise instructor. That's it, then. I'm off to kidnap Buff Smurfette. <laughs> take, take I feel like she is <laughs> Buff <her> Smurfette. <laughs> and take, take her place now. Uh, as the sole female citizen of Buff Smurf Village. <laughs> Dahlia heads off to execute her cunning infiltration while Counselor Flodge blends into the scenery by stepping behind one of the one of his life-sized statues. A couple of days later, Dahlia tracks you down and nearly clotheslines you in her enthusiasm. I mean, I feel like it's more clothesline, not clothes. Line. <laughs> the last few days have been a, an orgy of discovery. <laughs> I've, bl I've blown Smurf society wide open. Yes, yeah, she has indeed blown. Indeed. <laughs> but Smurf <laughs> society, buff Smurf society, she has kept blowing off of them. <laughs> At first, I was worried that they'd notice I'd replace buff Smurfette. Because I'm taller, buffer, have <laughs> horns, and never say this more smurf instead of instead of the word I actually want to say. But the others never even notice the difference. It's like being female prevent them from being able to give even the smallest fraction of fraction of shit about who I was. At first, I was delighted at the success of my undercover mission, but then I began to wonder. What if I was going under undercover in a buff smurf village? What if going undercover in a buff smurf village was my true mission? What if, what if being undercover was just a cover? Oh. <laughs> That's when I realized the truth. I was an undercover journalist posing as an under, undercover officer posing as a buff smurf. Right, expose of the decade. Ah, oh, please come. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, okay. I, po 
about this. My <laughs> first cannot ex bring. experience as an incisive article critiquing this buff smurf effect and the harm it ha has done to buff smurf. Blue women everywhere. Oh god, fucking damn it, we got one of those around. Any anyway, I should probably go anti buff smurf now and let her go home. My good deed is done. Yes. Goodbye. You wave goodbye to Dahlia, content in the knowledge that you helped to make the world a better place and did that sta statue of Counselor Flodge just wink at you? You gain plus two charm and a fun. Oh, Counselor Flodge is great. I know. Where I do you want to go? Manor, which is I have no boldness, idea how to do voices. Or uh. Woods, which is smart. What the fuck is your charm? Oh, oh wait, you got that from your drink, right? Yeah. <laughs> <And> wood. <laughs> Cabin into woods. What is this? That day it's while you're hiking. Jesus Christ, what the fucking hell. While you're hiking through the woods, an angry gnome steps in. Steps into <laughs> your path. Okay. Halt, giant beast! He cries. If it is passage you seek, you must first answer my riddles three. Riddle number one. How is a raven like a writing desk? Oh. Hmm, that's a tough call. But you give your answer. You punt the gnome into the sky and continue on your merry way. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Apparently, that was the correct response because nobody else tries to fuck with you. You gain... Wait, how does that give you smarts though? If you are smart for not listening to it, no man, just fuck Yeah, but isn't, isn't... I feel like it's more boldness, maybe. Uh, <laughs> because no, you did good. something that no one else would, so... Ah, uh, too. You and Damien are lounging together, having a surprisingly chill time reading comic books. Okay, so this is the me show, I guess. This is going to sound crazy, but... Can you pass me that one that doesn't have someone putting his fist through someone else's... Uh, someone else on the cover? Oh, for fuck's sake, here's everyone. No, here's everyone except me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Anon. Wait, what's this now? You're going to read actual words that might describe something other than punching? Ha. Huh. What? No! Who said that? I was just asking for the one without punching that so that I could eat it! Obviously. Just stop! Uh-huh, right. What Shut did up! I say, Dahlia? I told you he's getting soft. I am not getting soft! But it's... But not so soft that... You won't still come and... Sand strangling and ocean kicking with us tonight, right? Jesus fucking Christ, <laughs> why? <laughs> my, my biceps are ready to choke that sand right now. I got special boots made of spikes on the bottom and the sides and top so I can really sort these babes who's boss. Uh, well, that does sound great, but... But? Speaking of the ocean, I was actually going to watch this documentary on dolphins tonight. I'm making popcorn and baking dolphin-shaped cookies. If you want to join, oh, oh, I want to let him <laughs> he out. literally, he literally says that out loud. I think he noticed by the end. He was like, "Oh, oh shit." Whoa, you've changed, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. You've changed, Damien. It's no wonder the wildfire hasn't appeared to you yet. What? What do you mean? I know you've been on the hunt for the elusive man <laughs> wildfire, and I know that's tough for uh, eluded you, and I also know why. The elusive man. The wildfire only appears to those who are badass enough to be worthy of it. Unbridled. Anon? Anon! <laughs> Unbridled, glory, and untamed majesty. You know you're not supposed to finish that. <laughs> I'm not finishing no, 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 it. I'm just how. Yeah, so, but you literally yeah, finished the sentence. Say it no, no, no. so you know how to say it. No, 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 you back up. No. I can't. I can't. 
okay. you already did it for her, so what's the point? <laughs> well, the point is I can't. Well, it's true. You could I was it. just, I was just in the boots one day playing with matches, and suddenly I was nowhere. The Valbara just appeared. It was one of those most magical moments of my life. There's nothing like seeing a Valbara out of the, out in its natural ha habitat. But cooking uh, cookies is badass, so I mean... It's not. It is. It's not. Yeah. To turn over to 500 and then... Then, yeah, that's, that's badass. It is. Too if you bad, burn the cookies, seen. then yes. Yeah. Uh, fate. <laughs> fate. Easy, Damien, you're just not me metal <coughs> anymore. Not metal? Not metal? I'll show them who's not metal, or I'll show them who is metal. It's me! But still, metal. Now to prove it by becoming worthy of the wildfire. But how? How? Perform the sickest skateboard trick, escaping from a tank of water while chained and on a skateboard. Write a poem, but a poem that's very metal. I, I would just... Shut up, uh, it's Poopy's choice. Both are like their chance to creativity. And you got six and six, so I mean. <laughs> You're fucked. Let's hope uh... not. I would do, uh, do the lower one because it seems more fun. Yeah, but Poopy gets uh, to choose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Also, it may be smart because. Ah, but it's probably creativity. But there's a small chance it may be smart. Yeah, and the there top a one could be maybe fun. Yeah, that's what I was about yeah, to say, yeah, so. Yeah, the, the, the upper one might, yeah, might be fun here. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take the upper one. Upper one, okay. Oh, oh my god, you did it! Ah, oh, hell yeah! That's all kinds of metal! A good shot. He shoots and he scores! The chains are going gonna be metal. And the top of the water tank will be metal. I guess the wheels of the skateboard. Are those metal? Who cares? Point is, lots of metal, and I'll be m metalist of all. I'll be the metalist of all. <laughs> in fact, let's find even more metal. I'm gonna have a tuning fork in each hand when you chain me. No, wait, a tuning fork in one hand and a regular fork in the other hand. I think there's a metal suit of armor in the haunted manor. I could wear that too. You managed to convince Damien not to put on the heavy suit of armor before you lock him into a tank full of water. <laughs> Which is good, because you can't smooch him if he drowns. Well, I mean, you could. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> but, but you're not really into that. So it's better if he survives. Yeah. You find a water tank, put a skateboard at the bottom, chain Damien up, and then throw him in. So that he sinks onto the skateboard. But because he is, as he claims, super metal, it doesn't take Damien long at all to break out of the water tank with a sick ass flip. He skateboards down the side of the water tank doing a one armed handstand on the board. He does a double somersault in the air, hitting the tuning fork. With the regular fork to create a beautiful and magical pitch. As he lands right side up on the skateboard. Damien. Fuck! Damien. Fucking yeah! Wildfire, come at me, bro! <laughs> Silly demon, you can't call the wildfire. It appears to you when you're worthy, which you're not. You bitch! Yes, I am! I just did the sickest, most metalist skateboard trick ever! I mean, I didn't see it. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, the, if a demon does a, a sick ass kickflip in the in the woods, nobody, uh, but nobody should uh, see it. Was it the middle as fuck? Booby, you gotta defend him. Obviously, yes. <laughs> Not. Fuck you again. <laughs> <laughs> or the world fire would have, would have appeared. Otu, you saw it! Ask Otu saw it! Ask him! Oh day man. We all know <laughs> Otu is He's a thirsty bitch. Oh my god! <laughs> Dahlia's right. You are a thirsty bitch, Otu! But you're a thirsty bitch who helps me out today. 
and I appreciate it. Let's try again sometime soon. I know next time we can get that wildfire to show up for real. <laughs>